Density is an example of a property that uses a compound unit. Density compares the mass of an object to its volume. So mass is typically measured in grams for density, although it can be measured in, in kilograms or other things, but we'll be using grams in this course. And the volume of the substance can be measured in cubic centimeters or milliliters if we're talking about a solid or a liquid. For gases, we typically use a volume of liters, and we'll see a little bit about why that is when we look at the gas unit. Just as a reminder uh, for why we can use cubic centimeters or milliliters for the density of solids and liquids, one milliliter is equal to exactly one cubic centimeter. It's the definition of a milliliter. So do make sure and keep that in mind. So if you calculate something in cubic centimeters, you know it in milliliters. If you know something in milliliters, you know it in cubic centimeters. These are some densities of some common substances that you may encounter. These are just here as a reference. You do not need to memorize any of these except for this one right here, water. Water has a density of one gram per cubic centimeter or one gram per milliliter. We'll be doing some experiments involving this density, so it's important that you are aware of it. It's also important to remember the density of water because it's going to be the most common solvent we're going to use, and we're going to see water again and again and again throughout the course. It's important to keep in mind how we find the density of these substances. We want to make sure we know how to find our mass and we have found our volume. Mass, we're going to find directly, typically from a balance. Sometimes that may be calculated indirectly. We'll look, get a little bit more experience with that in lab. For volume, you can find it by direct measurement, so you can use a ruler or calipers to measure an object. But if you have an irregular object that's not easy to measure, then you may you need to use displacement. And we'll look a little bit more about that. But gra you use a graduated cylinder to find the displacement of an object. When we're trying to find the density using volume displacement, we calculate it by finding the mass and divided by the displaced volume. So for example, if I have a 68.60 uh, gram sample of zinc, I uh, would find that using a balance. I could add water to a graduated cylinder till it's 35.5 milliliters. I add the zinc to the cylinder, so the new volume is 35.0 uh, cubic centimeters or milliliters. My 30, I can take my final volume, the 45.0, and subtract the 35.5 because the new volume that's been added is from the zinc. That zinc has added 9.5 milliliters to that volume. That would give me a new, uh, our, our volume of 9.5 cubic centimeters or 9.5 milliliters. Remember, these are interchangeable. So if I want to calculate my density of the zinc, I would take the mass of the zinc from my balance, so 68.60 grams, my volume of zinc, 9.5 cubic centimeters. In this case, I want it in cubic centimeters, uh, but you might want it in milliliters. I divide these two values, and I get 7.2 grams per cubic centimeters. So keep in mind, I've rounded this to two significant figures because this value, has four significant figures, this value has two, so my final value has to be rounded to two significant figures. So, let's take a look at this example. What's the density of a 48.0 gram sample of a metal if the level of a water in graduate cylinder rises from 25.0 milliliters to 33.0 milliliters after the metal is added? My density it's going to be my mass divided by my volume. The mass of my metal is equal to 48.0 grams. 
I get that directly from my problem. The volume, I can't find that directly. I don't have anything in the problem that specifically tells me the volume of the metal. But I do know how the volume of the metal affects the volume of the water. So I have a starting volume of 25.0 milliliters that goes up to 33 milliliters. So I can subtract 33.0 milliliters minus 25.0 milliliters. Subtract that through and I get 8.0 milliliters. So my density is going to be 48 0 grams divided by 8.0 milliliters or 6.0 grams per milliliter.